looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son. Not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests.
If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. In here. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosalith. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid, but as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I'm not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Then. We're leaving for Rosalith, but not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, 
can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kupka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present. Deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh, will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. Fortify the castle gates at once.
Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Gentlemen! Ugh! <sighs> 
with me, then! For the Emperor! Out of our way! Get out of my city, or die!
Let her loose! They have a curl. We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say, Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard! <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still. 
still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. <laughs> to the festive. It's just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me, then. The prisoner <laughs> Yes, no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <gasps> Gav! Shh! Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <laughs> The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle, but the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back, quick as you like, eh? <sighs> Nearly forgot. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. to get to the courtyard. You've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't.
Jill, can you stand? Come, come, Lord Rosfield. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes, perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. Take all of them! Never explain what the fuck your dog just did! Later, everyone, with me. That includes you, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Koopka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful.
How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. You... you killed her. I did. I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! She would be my queen! And together, we would rule like the gods we are! But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust! Hear me, Rosfield! You will pay! For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my hands. And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. Get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity and no mercy.
<laughs> the world has chosen. Yeah. 
There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! Another time, Mythos. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. You missed one. We were worried. So was I. 